Now let's look at how to do this navigation on, on the Amigos website. So this is going to be our main navigation, but it is at the bottom. So if I go to my HTML here, I'm going to create my nav at the bottom. Let's give it the ID of nav. So the reason I gave it the ID of nav is because if you remember at the top here, this nav button is linking down to it. So it has to have that ID. And then let's give it a class of nav main. So here's my navigation. And it's of course going to be a UL. So let's put a UL in here. And then we want our LIs and our A elements. All right, so there's the code that we need. Let's go back to Photoshop here. So there are home superpowers, vehicles, history, and contact. I need one more of them. So I want to go home superpowers, vehicles. history and contact. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. That's the HTML that we need to actually create this. So let's go and start styling it. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to the bottom, let's target .nav main, and we'll give it our background color, which is that sort of pinky color if I have that here. It should be that one. Okay, how's that look? That looks good. Now the first thing you'll notice is that right away we have this gray space on the left and the right. And that's because our body has padding on it. So the same trick that we used for the banner up here is we need to use negative margins on it to sort of kick it out into that body space. So let's go margin. We probably want some on the top and bottom. And then on the left and right, we want negative 10 px. Let's get rid of the padding while we're at it here. And we might as well get rid of the bullets. There we go. So that's what we're looking for. Although it's not getting rid of the bullets, obviously, because um, that's actually the UL that we want to target. So nav main UL. Okay, there we go. So that's more of what we're looking for. Now, right now, I, looking at my Photoshop document, it looks to me like I should be able to press anywhere on this whole pink box. So like the whole thing is a link. And if I look in Chrome right now, I can't click over here to click on home. I have to go right over to the word home. So I want these links to sort of extend all the way across. And because I want them to extend all the way across, what I want to use is likely I want to set them to display block and that will give them the full width that we want. So now you can see as I move my cursor over here, I can click on those way over here, press on them way over here, which is what I'm looking for. So I don't want to forget to target nav or to target the link and visited states on these. So let's put that in now before I do forget. All right, so let's go back to Photoshop here and you can see they're capital letters and they're this light pink color. Let's grab the light pink. Okay, so the color. And we wanna do text transform, uppercase. All right, how's that look? Looks pretty good. And I believe they're using the PT Sans typeface, so let's put that in here. So font 700. Are they bigger than normal? Or are they just regular 16 PX size? Oh no, they are bigger, they're 24 PX. So let's go 1.25M and PT Sans. 
else. Arrow. How's that look? That looks pretty good. We need to get rid of our text decoration. Cool. All right, so the next thing is we probably want to put some padding on them. So the padding here on the left-hand side, I think I want to be 10px so that it matches, it lines up all the way up there. And so we'll probably do the same on the right-hand side. And then we're just going to sort of guess at the padding on the top and the bottom. So let's go with padding, let's say 0.4m on the top and bottom, and 10px on the left and right. Does that look good? I think the padding on the top and bottom could probably be a little bit more. So let's go 0.6. All right, that looks pretty close. We'll put the lines in and then we'll sort of see how it looks. All right, so the next up is our borders here. So I'm going to find out what those colors are. I want that color. And we'll put border on the top and bottom, which I'm guessing is two, because that's what I was using earlier. So let's go border bottom. Uh, let's do border top. Yeah, bottom, whatever. Doesn't matter. 2px solid when I copied here. All right, so that's got our borders on the bottom, but you can see the top one here is missing a border, but the bottom one has one. So what I could do, um, what the simple solution would be, let's just target the nav main, and let's just put a border on the top of it, just to accommodate for that border that we're missing. There we go, just like that. So that gives us the look we're going for. And then we probably want to do a hover state that is similar to the rest of them. So that's changing their color to white and changing their background color. So let's put a hover state for these. white yep and the color was sort of that darker one I think it's this 997 one isn't it okay there we go that looks pretty good so that's pretty much our navigation right the only thing that we're missing now is those icons that we have in Photoshop so the triangles here so let's save those out as PNGs, and we'll put those into the graphic. So let's do save for web, PNG, that's good. So let's call it, um, uh, you can see I already have arrow off and on. Let's say, let's call it arrow um, right off, so because it's a rightwards facing arrow. And then we want the other one here. Let's call it arrow right. Cool. All right, so that gives me my arrows. And I will just target my links and give them the background uh, images now. So that was arrow right off. So we want no repeat, and we want right center. Okay, how does that look? That looks pretty good. All we need to do is the hover one now. So in hover, we want to change the background image to be the on state. All right, how does that look? There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for, eh?